radioactive substance, cesium-137, has a half-life of about 30 years. This means that every 30 years, the amount of cesium-137 present turns into something else. The initial amount of cesium-137 was 70 grams, which is exponential decay function represents the amount of cesium-137 remaining over time in T years. Okay, so well, here's basically the old formula we have. We have that A equals P times some rate, which we usually would do like 1 plus R, to the power of n times t, and I actually need to replace this r. It needs to be like r over n. Uh, and n would be the number of times per year. Well, this doesn't say number of times per year. Rather, it's telling you how often it's happening. And the rate is telling us is half-life. So the half-life formula is actually going to be like this. Whatever amount you have times uh, half, and then your t divided by however many years uh, to make half. That's, oops, got dyslexic there. All right, so this is basically how it's going to look. In this case, we have, uh, it says if the initial amount is 70 grams, that's the p. So we have equals 70 here. And it tells us that every 30 years, it turns into something else. Uh, and I know I have the half here. So that means it's going to be t over 30. And that would give me half the value of 70. Well, half of 70 is 35. So this would be kind of the equation you're looking for. Is something uh, along this nature here. This would be my equation, where this is an exponent here. And they could ask for a lot of different things. They could then ask... Um, after 62 years, how much is remaining? And you just type 62 there, and, and you would change it. And you see that this value would not be 35. It would, in fact, be something different. That's how you do this problem.